Hello, I'm Kate and this is a charity shop haul. So I thought I would film an extra video because, um, because why not? I just thought I'd put one on for Sunday. So I hope you've had a nice weekend. Hello. I've got Rufus here. I think quite a few people have been missing Rufus the dog and he's, um, he's now on the couch. He's found a nice little spot here. So if you have been missing Rufus in the last few videos, he's back and hopefully he'll take to this little spot here because he used to be in the um, other room when I was used to film in my bedroom. This is too much information. Hello, um, my name is Kate and this is, a, I've already said that intro bit of a night, oh yeah. Anyway, I've got lots of bargains to show you that I found in charity shops and I've got some amazing, amazing things. Ooh, they're really amazing. And some beautiful clothes. I love that, I love being back in charity shops again. I said this on my last charity shop haul because you just never know what you can find. And the trick to charity shops are going as many, that's not really a trick, is it? Going as, go as many as you can. Although that isn't a trick, that's just, um, that's just obvious because the more you go in, the more chance you'll find some treasure. And really look, really look when you're in there because you can miss things. You don't need to do this though, you know, because you'll just might look a bit of a wally. Just use your eyes, obviously, because that's how you look. Anyway, um, shall I get on? Okay, I'll start. Oh, no, I won't start. What am I doing? I'm going to do my mug of the day before I get into my charity shop bargains. And this was a, oh my God, lipstick on it. you can't really see, this was a charity shop bargain. And a friend of mine found, found, a friend of mine found this for me. And I think it was 75p in a charity shop in Norfolk, I think. It's a Kath Kidston mug and it's like ice cream. And it's just one of my favourite mugs ever in the world. And I'm very, very grateful to my friend, uh, to Becky, for finding this for me. I think it was a couple of years ago. It's lovely, isn't it? So this is my mug of the day. And I'm drinking, not a tea or coffee. Not a tea or coffee, I don't know why I did that. I'm drinking this. So I put a little story on my Instagram about a week ago, a week ago, that to demonstrate a week ago, um, of these. And they were such a good bargain. They were 79p for these in B&M. And I bought four different flavors. They're kids cold infused for water bottles, mango and orange. So this is a Twinings one. It's really nice. So you just put it, it tastes like squash actually, but there is, I don't know, it's all like natural, I think. It just says drop, leave, shake and enjoy. And inside they're like mini tea bag things. They smell, oh, that's really strong. Oh, my eyes went funny. They smell amazing and it tastes really nice. You just leave it in your water bottle. So it says it's for kids, but not under 36 months. But obviously, you know, adults can have kids stuff. There's no rule. Toby would probably like these as well. But I thought I'd get them 12 biodegradable infusers and you put it in up to 500 mils of water. I think they're quite expensive, like the adult version of these. So I thought that was brilliant. So I bought four of them. I wonder what the use by date is, does it say? Let's have a look. January 2021, so I actually might go back and get a few more of them, because I think that is brilliant. And healthier than squash, because the natural, what? Because the ingredients are natural, it says suitable for vegetarians and vegans. I just thought I'd show you that. I wasn't going to, then I was like, well, I'm drinking it. So rather than talking about it without showing you the bottle, I thought I'd show you that as well. But obviously it's not from a charity shop, it's from B&M. You can get some lovely bargains from B&M. Right, shall I start with the charity shop stuff? Okay, because it's like about four minutes in and I haven't shown you anything yet. Well, I have, it was a mug, mug of the day. But the first proper item I'm gonna show you is this beautiful vase. And this was from Cancer Research in Great Yarmouth. I live in Great Yarmouth in Norfolk, in case you didn't know that, in the UK. And when I'm filming this, um, We've only got one charity shop open, I think. There's one in Lowestoft as well, but I haven't explored the little ones. I think they're still closed for the time being, but they will be open very soon, hopefully, so I shall get to all the others. But I've been going on to Cancer Research UK in um, Yarmouth and donating stuff and then having a little look when I've gone in. I think that's really good for £2. I love a vase. I, I, I love a vase, so obviously put, put flowers in them. That's what they're for, aren't they? <laughs> I'm going to make this another no-edit one, so I'm just going to keep on going with the weird moments as well. Just gorgeous, it's got like a hint of green, as my mum would say, like the colour of water. Oh, there is a uh, dead daddy long legs or something in there. That's a bit, I'm sorry, daddy long legs for the, oh, it's like a tiniest, I think it is a daddy long legs, poor little thing in the bottom there. So I'll, I'll put him in, in the, I'll put you in a nice bin, a nice bin, oh, 
poor little daddy long legs that obviously needs to clean daddy long legs needs to go into the the bin i haven't really got a nice bin maybe i'll put you outside i'll put you in the garden and you can you know you can you can rest there anyway so that was two pounds cancer research uk and it's just a lovely vase and i think that would that be quite expensive in a normal shop wouldn't it and it's quite thick on the bottom looks lovely love that needs a bit of a wash though and daddy long legs i put him in the in the garden and then i found a mug i haven't actually found a mug in a while and i'm not trying to buy as many mugs as i used to because i obviously have a lot and every time I go to donate stuff to the charity shop, I have a quick look around and think, right, what can I take? What can I get rid of? Because I obviously buy quite a lot of things. So I try and give back a lot as well. But it's not always like successful because I'm, I've got a little bit of a hoarder in me and I want to keep everything. But I do eventually get rid of things because I just get a bit, a bit overwhelmed sometimes. So I do like to donate and then you can keep buying that way. So I have a look in my mug cupboard every time I do a charity shop donation bag thing and I look in and go oh 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 and I find it really difficult so unless they're amazing I'm not going to buy in any buy in buy any more mugs because obviously I have a lot of mugs in my mug cupboard and then I've got another load in my coffee area but this one is beautiful you'll see why it is lovely and I went to charity shop shopping with my friend Louise who is another YouTuber and she's recently started well kind of during lockdown she really like started well she did lots of videos and she really loves um youtube so i'll link her channel in the description so you must go and say hello to her louise is just lovely she's so funny and we went charity shop shopping so i'll show you some bargains that i found with her and then i think we were on the way back from norwich i just popped into a couple by myself because there was just a little place to park and i just ran up to some other charity shops and i found this it's really sweet so you'll see why I had to buy this mug because it's just gorgeous. It's so sweet. That little Rufus is snoring. Little snaffle snores. It was $1.99 from Oxfam and it's just got cats on it. And I've got Bessie the cat and I do. I love cats. I love cats and dogs. I love most pets, but I have a cat and a dog, so I love them the most. And yeah, it's just little cats on and it says the perfect cupper. If you can see that, the perfect cupper and it's got a really nice handle it's um a really nice handle it's just got a handle um and it's kind of got gold in it as well so the writing is in gold and then it's got some gold on the bottom it says over the moon house of disaster dishwasher proof not microwave proof that's good you can put in the dishwasher you can't normally put them in the dishwasher with the gold in and then there's a cat inside as well so i've got to be really careful of the little cat inside so i can't like shove a mug on top because it might chip one of the ears so yeah i love that 199 from oxfam in norwich there's a really good oxfam actually in norwich it's quite a small shop and it's by i think it's called lower gate loan what lower lower gate lane um loan lower gate lane in norwich and there's a couple of good charity shops there but i always seem to find things in the little oxfam and the people are really friendly in there too and when I went, we went to the zoo the other day and uh, on the way back, we stopped in Attleborough. So me, Toby and Lee had a day out a couple of weeks ago the other day. And um, my feet, I was wearing some flip flops and they really hurt my foot. So I was really like, I was on the way back from the zoo, we went to get something to eat. We went through Attleborough, but we couldn't find anywhere to eat. But there was a couple of charity shops. So I bought some flip flops because the other ones were really hurting my feet to the point where I was almost limping. Well, it sounds a bit dramatic but you know like oh that really hurts so I just bought these and put them on then my feet didn't hurt anymore so I, got, I don't know why they were hurting but just rubbing on a little bit underneath and these are originally from Next they're leather with a really nice like black leather bit whatever you'd call that straps and they just they felt really comfortable and I love these they were two pounds um I think they're size five but they fit me yeah Next is quite good like quite what's the word generous with their sizes and these four flip-flops are okay in a five and a six, mostly anyway. So um, yeah, I got those for two pounds from, I can't remember which charity shop, it was the little one in Attleborough. And instead of having price tags, they do stickers, like coloured stickers. So I picked up them from there, but I've forgotten the name of it. I'm really sorry if you know that charity shop, but it's really good. There's some great charity shops in Attleborough, which is again in Norfolk. But when I was with Louise, I bought this apron from Relate Charity Shop, it was £3.50 and it's an apron and it says Norfolk girls love to party. I just thought I had to get it 
and I haven't actually got an apron so I, I'll keep this then I'll have to use it. it's Jola Designs so that's probably I don't know it could be a designer in Norfolk oh no Cheshire Jola Designs is a Cheshire based company specializing in unique gifts for all occasions blah 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 Jane and Nikki 100% cotton made in the UK and that was 350 so I thought I'd get myself an apron or if I need like a, a little gift for someone that might be quite a nice gift Norfolk girls love to party and we do not every night like you know once and once in a while and Louise spotted this amazing thing in YMCA charity shop in Norwich on Anglia Square because we've never been to those charity shops before so we decided to go to a new area and we parked up and then we went to the charity shops there and they were really good and really reasonable and Louise spotted this I missed it so it's good going shopping charity shopping with a friend because you can miss things oh look I'm like the voice is, is like uh making funny sounds through the this is a barbecue yeah so it's good to go shopping with other people I love shopping by myself but it's also good to go with other people because they can see things that you might miss and Louise said oh look look at this and it is a John Lewis barbecue it's a mini barbecue but a camping one a barbecue bucket from John Lewis brand new with the tags and Louise has got one like this she's got like I think it was it's a John Lewis really cute barbecue bucket thing so she didn't need it so luckily she said oh do you want that and I, well she said you need that because whenever we go shopping together we go you need that and then um sometimes we do so I was like yeah that's brilliant and Lee was really happy when he saw it because we actually needed one um so yeah it's a barbecue bucket not sure how much it would be from John Lewis brand new maybe 20 pounds and I got this for two quid how good is that the little tag is here two pounds YMCA and it's got the little grill bit on top like that and then inside I've got a receipt from a different charity shop and then oh there's another Danny Longlegs there's another poor Danny Longlegs in there what's, what's going on with the Danny Longlegs today so that's the little bit that goes inside and then there's the bucket so yay love that and Lee was really like yeah that's brilliant yeah and I was gonna have the tags on it was brand new thought it was great in fact it was from John Lewis as well and he went to put that with his camping stash and I was like no you can't do that yet because I need to show it so yeah now I've shown it you can put it with all the camping stash we're gonna go camping soon actually so I'm looking forward to that that's gonna be with Louise so yeah I can't wait Arrgh. right I've got some clothes to show you I didn't have any clothes. No, I did. I had one dress in the last charity shop haul. And if you missed it, I will link it in the description. So I bought some lovely clothes. I practically found myself a whole summer wardrobe, like in the last month of charity shop shopping. This dress, I've um, I took a photo. Oh no, I've undone the buttons. I took a photo of it for Instagram. So if you want to see what any of these look like, head over to my Instagram, which is Kate McCabe or Kate McCabe. And I've got a house account as well, which is Kate's Homely Home. So I'll link those in the description. So if you want to come say hi on Instagram, you're more than welcome. You might already be following on there. I don't know. But thank you if you are and if you want to. Yay. So here's one of the dresses. And again, I found this with Louise. This was Oxfam in Anglia Square and it's really nice I love it on it's really pretty material I don't think well it feels brand new it's got that brand new never been worn feel to it it was 5 99 and it's originally from Gap as you can see there I think it's a size 12 it says medium it says number four and it just says medium on the label and you can't try things on at the moment in charity shops but I thought that's going to be fine you know when you like look at things you can normally tell roughly not always but I thought that will fit and it fits really nicely and it's got pockets it sort of goes in at the waist there and then flares out two lovely pockets lovely but oh, it's got two pockets well, it's got pockets um and pockets normally come in twos don't they a little belt that goes around so I can tighten it up there and then it just flares out and it's lined as well the top is just isn't lined which is perfect so it's quite flattering there and then it's lined down here so I won't um you know you can't see through it which is great it's really nice and actually it's got another if you can see it there so it's got the lining on the inside and then some material at the bottom making it a bit heavier so it doesn't a fly away dress is Quite scary isn't it to wear if it's a bit windy so this is nice and it's a bit weighted so it won't be you know blowing up and 
showing my knickers. When we did go charity shopping, Louise had on a really flimsy dress. It was quite a, I think it was just above her knee, but it was one of those flimsy ones and there was no line, lining. So she was running around like the streets, holding it down going, ooh, and it was really funny. <laughs> I didn't vlog that day though, because we just weren't sure with everything going on. We just, I don't know, it doesn't feel, I'm sure it is like fine to film in the charity shops, but we just thought we'd have a day of shopping as there's so many different changes going on, we thought we would hold off, but I'm sure in the future we will. Just got to be, you know, a bit careful and mindful of everyone at the minute, I think. So, yay. Anyway, I couldn't show you Louise and her, her flip, no, not flip flops, her, her dress, her, her flying up dress. So yeah, that is gorgeous. I love you. 5 99 And um, I'm just going to put that down there. Now I bought... Ewan, who is Mr. Carrington, which I'm sure you'll all know, just in case you don't, he's another lovely YouTuber. I'll link his channel in the description box. And um, I always see, sorry, I've got some lipstick on. I'm not sure if it's going on my teeth, but I think it's okay. I um, I always see things for Ewan and he's found me some amazing things in charity shops as well. So whenever I see things, if I think, oh, you know, they're amazing, I, I do normally just get them. But there were so many brand new ASOS shirts in scope in Anglia Square in Norwich. So I sent him a picture of one and then I saw there was quite a few, there was about six or seven. So I did a really quick video. I was like, do you want any of these? I'll get them for you. And then he said he'd love this one. Luckily he um, he was on his phone, so he saw his WhatsApp message and then sent me one back. I probably would have just got this one anywhere. I might've got one of the other ones, but he might've found them. They were like quite garish prints, but he said he'd love this. And that is just such a nice shirt. This is so Mr. Carrington. It's got like paint, you know, paint brushes all over it and splashes of paint. The colours are perfect. It's ASOS, as I said, it's a medium size. It was four pounds, it's brand new. And it just says there, 1922 concept store. It's like a, you know, one of these sample, it's a sample one. And they had, the other ones were lovely, but this one was definitely the best. And I can really see um, you and in that. I think he's gonna, well, he is gonna love it. So I'm gonna post that to him. It's got kind of some dusky pinks, like a darker mustard, yellow, a sort of beige, purpley, all different colours that will go with everything, and black as well. So I think that's so nice. I think it's going to look really good on him, just a button down shirt. I love it. Really nice. So I shall send that to you. And so, hello, you. And if you're watching, I've got your shirt here and I'll post it to you because I don't know when I'm going to be seeing him. So I'll post that as soon as I can. Got a couple of dresses here really well they're sort of more holiday ones i suppose they fit nicely on this one's from primark it's just quite a simple beachy dress it's like i want to say crepe material like crepe paper if that's right but it's obviously not because it's cotton i think but it's just quite a sweet little beach dress um quite a simple one down to the knee and i could probably wear it but i might just save it for a proper holiday whenever that will be it was from break charity shop it was 2.95 and i think this was from when I went to Sheringham and Cromer, uh, when I stayed in, when we went to North Norfolk a while ago. So I picked this up there, it's got little things on the sleeve. So a little Primark beach dress, three pounds or 2.95. And this one is from Cancer Research UK. It was three pounds. The maker's pistachio, and it doesn't fit that well actually, but it might be quite nice for holidays, you know, just with them, um, a swimsuit underneath or something it's just really oh i just forget my lipstick on it it's like that flyaway like louise's dress material like flyaway material and um it's got a little gathered waist here and it's very pretty if i don't wear it i'll just i'll donate it back but um yeah so it does fit it's not as flattering but it might be nice on holiday on top of a swimsuit because it's quite long so i shall keep it and see but yeah that was three pounds this next dress is absolutely sorry it's not a try on i will do a try on at some point but i'll try them on on instagram i'll put some pictures on there um this dress is lovely and i wasn't going to get it it's from cancer research uk in great yarmouth it was three pounds and i found some lovely dresses and then i saw it and then thought when i was at the till i thought i might just get that dress and i'm really glad i did sometimes it's worth just getting things just in case because they might be amazing this fits really well and it's actually, it looks really nice on. It's from Red Herring, Red Herring originally. It's a size 14 
and it's just a nice like the top's obviously like that it's got some pretty detail here like beaded detail and it goes in at the waist and flares out and it's down to the ankle actually so it's a really long dress it's slightly above the ankle actually i think so you'd be able to see that look nice with these flip-flops these two pound flip-flops and that'd be my whole outfit would be a fiver uh, which is amazing isn't it yeah this is so nice on it's really flattering i wasn't sure what it would look like but i'm really glad um i bought it so i'm definitely going to be wearing it um you know this summer this year and hopefully if we get the weather and on holiday at some point we go on holiday next year i'm not sure but i love it i'm really glad i got that and then i've got two more dresses to show you and that is the oh that's the end of the haul ruth has been really quiet with his snores you're okay you will first he's okay um this next dress is gorgeous so it was from rspca when did i get this one it was five pounds i think this was attleborough yeah it was rspca in attleborough five pounds and i tried it on earlier on and it's really nice on i love the print so um it's like stretchy here so you know that material like a bandeau top but it's stretchy and then it just flares out and it's kind of between the knee and the ankle it looks so nice on i was like oh it's lovely it's perfect i don't know where it's from originally oh yes i do it's got something here what's it say this is 100 percent cotton it's made in thailand size 12. so maybe it was just i don't know i don't have a clue where it's from but i love the it could be like a thailand dress i did find some a bit like this in thailand but not as nice material it's just lovely on love the print it looks really nice um oh it's just nice on. it's like a really happy dress i love it so i'll be wearing this very soon i love you and it's nice and heavy it's not a blowy happy show you pants dress which is great and I probably won't need to wear anything underneath it because it's quite thick cotton it's lovely love it but well, my final thing i probably should have ended on that because it's one of my favorite dresses but I haven't so i'll end on this one instead but this is equally lovely just not quite as happy and vibrant so i have been wearing a lot if you've seen in my vlogs a black well it's a black dress with some white dots on it an asos dress i got from a pound no i got four a pound from a cut from a charity shop um i think it must have been last year and i've worn it so much i'll show it um i'll grab it quickly it's here on the door i love it like every time i wear it people always comment on um youtube saying oh where's your where's that dress from and uh, yeah, it was a pound from a charity shop. However, I've worn it so much this year that it's going a bit bobbly, which is a shame. So I thought that other one was a bit like it. And... Uh oh, that's the vase, but it's fine. It was just hiding. Everyone okay? Oh no, it wasn't the vase, it was that. Where have I put the vase? I don't know, I'll just be careful. It's somewhere here. There it is. I'll put it back. Oh, sorry. Sorry about this. I'll just put that there. I'll put you there and then you there and then you, you nothing will happen to you so what was i on about yeah so this is the dress that i got for a pound from asos from a charity shop and i've worn it loads it's just been the best dress for this summer just chuck it on with flip-flops and just wear it everywhere but it is going slightly if you can see slightly bobbly so i can get a bobble remover but i think over time it's going to be a bit worn down but i'll still keep wearing it i'll try and remove the bobbles so when i saw this i thought oh, it's quite similar and you can't really go wrong with a dress like this it's the same material like this jersey stretchy material it was from cancer research again it was three quid and it's from dorothy perkins size 14 really nice just black with the dots it's got no bobbles on it it looks like it's kind of not been worn or it's just been really well looked after the sleeves the um the other one's three quarter sleeves but this is all the way to the end of your arm but with a little gather at the bottom and then it goes in at the waist and then flares out this is really nice on and i think it's just slightly shorter than the other one but a really nice length it's just past the knee and i love that i think it's such a nice dress and so versatile you can just chuck this on and wear it anywhere love things like that and that is everything that is my charity shop haul so i hope you enjoyed watching it if you did make sure you give the video a like and subscribe as well if you haven't so subscribing is really easy you don't have to pay anything you just literally log in with your email address and and that's it and then you can um catch you know you, don't have, you won't miss any of your 
favourite videos. No, you won't miss any videos from your favourite YouTubers, so make sure you subscribe as well. And come over to Instagram, there'll be my account to be linked in the description, like I said before. And yeah, let me know your favourite item in the haul. I think mine's the happy dress, the mug. I, like, I do love everything. But, ah, oh, Mr Carrington shirt, love that. Love the happy dress. I love the black and white dress. I love the mug. It's just so cute. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Uh, no, let me know your favourite item in the description, not in the description, in the comments. And yeah, I'll speak to you very soon. I've got some videos for next week. Every Wednesday and Friday, I upload at 2pm. So the next video will be here on Wednesday. I'm not sure what one it is. What have I got? I don't know. Be a good one though. So yeah, that next video will be here in a couple of days. But have a lovely rest of your Sunday. Have a great week. And uh, tomorrow, like for next week, if you're watching it, and it's the start of the week. But if you're watching it another day, happy day. And I'll speak to you very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye. I'll oh, so get Rufus to say bye. Rufus. Let me have a little bye. What's this? Who's this? Oh, there he is. Oh, Rufus. He was a good boy. Do you want a... Uh... I'm going to give him a gravy phone. Do you want a gravy bowl? Right, I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Say bye from Rufus. Bye. Should we get you a gravy bowl? Come on then. Come on then, gravy bowl. Come on, gravy bowl. Gravy bowl!